Hello and welcome fellow gamers, I'm Robocharged, and today I'm reliving a piece of my childhood. I'm playing a classic, the Oregon Trail. This is the 1.2 version, which came out in 1993, back when I was just 7 years old. So this is one of the very first games I've ever played. These days, most versions of the Oregon Trail are available to play online as free web browser games, which somehow I only just recently discovered. I'm playing this on playclassic.games, and I'll leave the link in the description just in case anyone would like to give this a go for themselves. Okay, so I'm set to lead a party of five pioneers. I'm going to go for the highest score possible, I think, and take on the challenge of being a teacher. As you can see, that gives you a three and a half times score bonus at the end, since they start with the least amount of cash and have no special advantages to speak of. And I think we'll leave in April. That will allow us to take more rest days and travel at a steady pace. Let's see what we can afford here on a teacher's budget. Gonna need at least six oxen and 20 bullets per box. Let's start with 100 bullets and two of each spare wagon part. And not bad, that leaves us with 70 bucks left over. Well, it looks like a nice sunny day for starting out. Our rations are unfilling and our pace is set to steady. I think we're all set here to hit the trail. Here we go, that dreaded dun dun sound. It's never good news. Good thing we left early, as we've lost four days here already. I'm just trying to get in a hunt here if it will let me. Well, there we go, that didn't take long. The buffalo are plentiful at least to start here it looks like. Oh wow, another four days? We've taken the wrong trail for eight days worth of traveling already. And we're only just out of independence. I just want to get to this first river crossing here. The thing about leaving early in the spring is that water levels at the first two crossings are usually pretty high. But at just over four feet here, that's not bad. I think we should be able to float the wagon across. Nice, we made it. Maybe taking the wrong trail for all that time actually paid off. Just gonna get in another hunt here quick. Hopefully stay on top of the food supply. I shot all those deer for nothing. What? How am I missing? Come on. There we go. Yeah, all those deer were a waste. One buffalo is more than enough to carry right there. Now we're finally getting close to the next crossing. The Big Blue River. I think that anything over three feet deep you can't successfully ford, so I'm going to try to float the wagon across again. Yes, success! Two for two on these, that's big to start out. Things are going smoothly now, we're making some good headway. Too smoothly though, I'm sure any time now something is bound to happen. And of course, here it is. Wow, that's some fire. We lost literally all of our spare clothing and even nearly all of our food. I'm going to have to go hunting right away here after this stupid fog. Wow, zero food now. This is urgent. Uh, not much here to start. <laughs> I just had to shoot a duck. As kids, we all like to waste bullets trying to shoot at them just for the challenge. Well, good thing we managed to bag another buffalo. We needed a good hunt here badly just to get some kind of food stored again. But now we're instantly losing some due to spoilage. We're nearly at the first fort, however. Oh no, poor Emily has cholera. That's not good. We're going to have to rest at the fort for a few days. And I definitely need to buy some more spare clothing to replace all the ones lost in that fire. Let's see, maybe we'll try three days of rest? We actually don't have enough food to keep resting. I'm going to need to buy some just for now, at least until I can get back on the trail and hunt again. Actually, on second thought, 
I'm just going to leave and hunt right away and then rest for a bit, I think, there. Emily is just going to have to tough it out for a little bit first. We're all actually declining in health already. We went from good to fair. Nice, another buffalo. I think I've shot one every single hunt so far. And without much waiting around either. They proved to be very useful for the pioneers traveling the trail. They would even use buffalo dung or chips as they like to call them to fuel their fires when they couldn't find enough firewood in the prairies. Apparently it burned even longer and didn't create an odor, but I'm not so sure if I can fully believe that. Well, after five days of resting, thankfully Emily has recovered. All her health has returned to good status now, except for Sarah. What I'd like to know is how she became exhausted during almost a week of straight rest. I got another duck. I'm two for two on those. And then I can't even seem to hit another buffalo. Just got him before he got away. That was close. It's estimated that around 10% of the pioneers traveling the Oregon Trail died on the journey. That averages out to about 20 graves per mile. Oh good, Sarah's better now. We're all sitting at fair health here as we close in on Chimney Rock. Oh, and it just switched to good health. Diseases from contaminated water, wagon accidents, gun accidents, and drownings during river crossings accounted for the four most common causes of death. The trail claimed plenty of animals too. Oxen, horses, mules. So many died along the way that it was often difficult for wagon trains to find a place to camp that was free of their carcasses. I just want to check quickly here to make sure we don't have to buy anything. I don't think we'll see another fort for quite a while unless we go out of our way to hit Fort Bridger. And I don't want to have to do that for supplies. I'm not seeing a whole lot of big game here. So far, I only managed the one pronghorn antelope. I might have to try moving around. Uh-oh, did, did we finally run out of buffalo to hunt? I guess that's it for this excursion. Only 29 pounds of meat. That's not going to get it done. And now it looks like we've reached a stretch of desert. The nice green grass is all gone. This will likely be a tough stretch. And right away it starts off with Emily breaking her arm. <laughs> wow, not even a single antelope now. This desert hunting is tough. No grass, I knew that was coming. Oh, but we found five fruit. <laughs> That won't last long. Better try another hunt. Uh, this is getting desperate now. Nice, at least the antelope are back in this location here. It's kind of funny how you get these lush hunting scenes with a nice river and mountains in the background when your wagon train is apparently stuck in a desert. Like, how far have I had to supposedly go off the trail for this hunt? I have to say though, as a kid, this hunting minigame was by far and away my favorite part of the game back then. I'm piling them up. Ah, but I couldn't get that one. These things are fast and shifty. Eighty-five pounds, that's it? I should have kept hunting. I thought four of them would equal out to more than that. I just want to push through this desert stretch as quickly as possible. You can't really afford to take extra days to rest when the oxen are starving. I need to try and get one more hunt in here before we reach Independence Rock. Uh, nothing but rabbits and squirrels.
basically just a waste of bullets for all the meat that gives me. Well, other than Emily's broken arm and the fact that we're low on food, and that the oxen are starving, we're pulling into Independence Rock in good shape. Maybe we'll have better luck hunting now. Uh, we're gonna have to try. We're down to just 39 food. It's not looking promising. Oh, there we go. What a shot. I just got a quick look at that elk and hit it when I needed to badly. It's nice to finally see some big game again. Yes, I know we have no water. Oh, now it's bad water. <laughs> uh, that's better than nothing, I think. Man, we have to get out of this desert. We're really arriving at the South Pass here in rough shape. Everyone's in poor health now after that grueling stretch. I'm going to see if I can't trade someone for some food. Our party badly needs to rest here at this landmark. But we're low again and I can't hunt here. I better take this deal. And of course, I was hoping the wagon tongue wasn't the spare part that I only had one of after the fire in the early going. But it was, so now I have none. Well, at least now we can get some rest. No! Emily! Out of nowhere. Come on, we were resting. I guess it was too late. That bad water took its toll. Oh, but we found some wild fruit. I feel so much better now. <sighs> I don't even miss Emily already anymore. And now Joey is sick. Wow, this resting is apparently dangerous. I better do it a bit longer, though. Alright, time to head out. I need to hunt again. We're definitely going to take the shortcut. Good, there's deer here at least. It's been a while since I've seen any of those. And another elk, nice. Poor Sarah must have went delirious with lack of water and wandered off and got lost. This desert is really getting old. Things are looking up though, Joey recovered and that's the Green River ahead. That must mean water in the end of the desert, I hope. We're all hovering at fair health now. And the buffalo are back, or at least the one, I'll take it. Come on, just gotta keep pushing through. Uh-oh, our health has gone down to poor again. Now I kind of have to rest, at least briefly. Those days lost to fog and people getting lost, those are costly. I just want to get everyone out of here before they all die. Phew, we made it to the Green River. I was expecting someone to drop at any point there. Time for some rest around some actual water. Now let's see about how we're going to cross here. Wow, it's 40 feet deep. I don't want to mess with this river, I don't think. This is what having some money left over is for. Let's take the ferry, it's worth it. That will give us four more days to rest too as we wait. Here we go. Good, we made it.
Uh, it looks like we aren't out of the desert stretch yet. Oh, I just got that deer before he disappeared off screen and got away. Well, fortunately, that combination of the deer and an antelope were more than enough to reach the weight limit of what I can bring back. Yikes, Zeke has typhoid now. That's not good. I guess I'm forced to rest a bit even though we have no water. There's no good option here. close to the Soda Springs. I'm tempted to up the pace just to get there faster, but I guess I better not. I'm just going to leave everything and hope for the best. We're actually doing good for food right now, at least for a change. Good, we made it. Zeke just needed a little rest and he's good again. Or not. Now he's exhausted. And now he's dead. What bad luck. Jeez, I guess it was only a matter of time. There wasn't much else I could do but to try and carry on and hope for the best though. On a brighter note, the game is plentiful here. That was a little bit of overkill there though, shooting a buffalo and an elk. Oh, uh, we're just getting ravaged by illness now. I'm surprised we haven't lost any oxen yet to be honest. Seems like they have been mostly without grass for a long time now. Well, we got our health back up from Port Affair, resting here at Fort Hall. Rough trail. Makes sense, it looks like we are kind of in a more mountainous area on the map now. I better call another time out to rest. I can't let us keep pushing on poor health like this for too long. Someone always gets exhausted while resting. Good, the rest paid off. At least we got Joey better. Let's do one more day. There we go, our health status is back to fair. I think it should be good hunting usually now, uh, the rest of the way. I'm gonna give it a quick go to stay on top of the food situation. Yep, an elk right away. Two for good measure. <laughs> that was a little bit of overkill, but... Just in case. Joey with the broken leg now. I just got him back healthy. Health back to poor. Need to rest too. Sarah now. Jeez. Our party is shrinking fast here. The poor dog howling here for Sarah's loss. He's seeing way too many funerals. Who's even left now? Just me and broken leg Joey? Yep, yikes. <laughs> oh wow, here's where my last journey ended. I had played around before recording this to make sure it was the same version of the game I had played as a kid. And I was put in a party with four women. And they all died before I eventually did as well right here. We had rested a lot due to illness and it was all in vain. It was actually November already when I died here during a snow blizzard. At least we're making better time on this run, but the survival rate isn't much better. Well, this is now uncharted territory for me, at least as an adult. Hopefully me and Joey can finish this alive.
Whoops. Hopefully I didn't just miss my chance at an elk here. Okay, good. Here's another one. That's weird. I thought they were all over 200 pounds. Looks like I bagged a small one. The Snake River. This crossing's looking 12 feet deep here. There's no ferry, so I think I'll hire the guide. I can't risk anyone drowning with just two of us left now. It's funny how this guide always wants your clothing. And all he does is just float the wagon across normally. Well, we've managed to make it across yet another river without any mishaps. The Snake River made me think. I'm pretty sure no one has had a snake bite yet. Of course, I probably jinxed us now. No kidding, that's an impassable trail. Look at that cliff and waterfall. We just can't seem to maintain even fair health here. Time for another forced rest. Can't rest long though, it's almost October. The snow could start to be a dangerous possibility by the end of this journey. Well, that's a relief. We got back to fair health and Joey's leg is mended now. Come on, cholera? <laughs> he was healthy for what, like half a day? Okay, this Joey is becoming a burden. How did he possibly break his leg yet again already? This guy is made of glass. We'll rest here at this fort briefly. I think this is the last fort we'll see. Oh no, a broken wagon tongue. That's the one wagon part I have no backup for. Good thing I fixed it. I don't know what I would have done. Look to make a trade, I suppose. Well, that was a quick successful hunt. I don't think I need to worry about food much now. With only two of us, it's going to last a lot longer. It's amazing to see some of the terrain the settlers crossed like this. Looking at pictures of how deep some of the wagon ruts are in the old trail, even in stone. It's cool how some are still visible over 150 years later. Gonna have to take a rest here again. Alright, we're in the Blue Mountains. We're getting close. Can we survive the last leg of this journey? I always take the shortcuts. This is long enough of a grind without adding to the travel distance. Oh, there's a snake bite. I just had to jinx it, didn't I? Should I rest for him? Nah, sorry Joey, we're pushing on. Oh no, whoops. Well, he did seem like he was kind of destined to die of something soon. And I just got tired of stopping. An ox got lost? I guess it's hard to keep track of them all by yourself. I'm so close! The Dells are in sight, and then I can raft down the river from there. I just need to make it a few more miles. Made it. That's a no thanks to the toll road. It's time to Huckleberry Finn my way to the finish line. Here we go. I remember I used to be so nervous and actually found this part kind of hard when I was playing as a kid back in the day. Oh, I actually called it kind of close there. But it doesn't seem to be quite as hard as I remember it being to pull off now.
Success. Well, sort of. All my party members died, but I bravely pushed on to reach the end in their honor. It's what they would have wanted. What a beautiful valley. I wish they could be here to see it. Anyways, as I'm sure is the case with many gamers my age, traveling the virtual Oregon Trail is a fun trip down memory lane. It was a lot of fun making this video. I remember gathering around a single computer both with family and friends and taking turns competing to see who could get the highest score. Looking at my score, I didn't exactly set the bar high with this run. Feel free to come back and post your scores in the comments if you give this old game a try. And as always, thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, take care and happy trails.